So what have you done from your position of power to reduce the use of torture by U.S. forces? No comment. It's Ridley O. Sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com My question for the State Department guy has to do with torture. He was in Iraq for a while. I don't know that he was guilty of anything. I want to find out if he's actually done anything constructive to limit the use of torture. Uh, and uh, I've, this time I've got a picture of uh, Abir Hamza. She's a was uh, Iraqi gal who was tortured to death by U.S. forces. And uh, I've got a picture of her to show him. See how he reacts. Uh, but in the confusion out there, getting my camera manhandled and so forth. <laughs> I uh, managed to lose the picture. Fortunately, I have another copy here in the car. BTW, I thought only ugly Americans went to other countries as ambassador or, you know, with an embassy or whatnot and failed to learn the language, right? I mean, that's an American stereotype. They, they, not all Americans are like, uh, what's his name, Funderburk, that guy that was... Uh, uh, ambassador to Romania and he was obsessed with Romania and he learned the language you know as best he could uh, that guy was pretty cool supposedly um, but you know, you, a lot of times you'll get State Department officials that will go overseas and don't learn the language very well I don't know about this State Department guy that I want to talk to but anyway this 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 guy from the the embassy of Korea I think he's like I think he's stationed in the US I'm not really sure uh, so why doesn't he why doesn't he speak English better um, I, I've, or was he just maybe pretending like he doesn't speak English better? Well, we'll see. There's probably some archival video of him somewhere that someone can look up and determine what his status is in terms of whether he was pretending to not speak English very well or uh, whether he really whether he really doesn't. Either way, I don't know. I learned a foreign language to some extent when I go to a foreign country, at least enough to kind of get by. And he did kind of get by me. Are you Mr. Milken? I am. Uh, I've got a question for you. You're, I think, enough of a New Hampshireite to know that recording bans don't go over really well here. So why did you guys ban recording again here? I'm sorry? The State Department, I understand, banned recording at this event, correct? I, I think this was an off-the-record event. Why do you do that? Why does it have to be off-the-record if you're on our dime? Uh, the, the event, did you happen to... Uh, did you happen to hear the event? Today? I've decided to boycott your event because you wouldn't let me record it. Well, in the future it'd be great if you could attend the events. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things about our relationship with South Korea that are going on right now. We talked a lot about our North Korea policy. Um, yeah, but it's interesting. In the future, hopefully, we can talk more about if it. If I may ask, do you know who this is? This is Abir Hamza. Have you ever heard of, have you ever heard of her? You served in Iraq, correct? I did, yes. She was tortured to death by your forces five years before you arrived there. Could you open that door, please? Hurry up, hurry up. Thanks. Mr. Milka, what have you done from your position of power to reduce the use of torture by U.S. forces? No problem. Do you have a position on torture? Are you even against it? Excuse us. Please don't touch me. Ma'am, that's crazy. Don't do that. Mr. Mielke, have you ever advocated, privately or otherwise, the death of Julian Assange? You think that's funny? You know how many feds have advocated that? I beg your pardon? You will answer to your grandkids someday. They'll want to know what you did. And if I might ask, why did you guys not inform us via your website that there would be a recording ban again? It did say off the record on the website. I looked at it twice and could never find that. Hmm. Well, 
I can double check that tomorrow, but I'm 100% sure it's on there if you look right now. And if you'd like to schedule an interview with me to talk about it later on, um, I'd no, be happy I, I to sit down with you. I appreciate you just answering my question. I usually only need a sentence or two. Sure, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. I... And we hope, um, you know, sometime you'll come in and and listen to what they have to say and... Oh, I will when I'm allowed to bring a camera in. Until okay. then, I'll boycott. All right, well, that's and fine. And I hope that you will not be assisting feds again in censorship. Well, it's your choice not to come in, and um, we appreciate your interest in the World Affairs Council. And All we'll, right. Um, see you at some other place. Thanks, Anna. Bye. Take care. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com